But this is what remains of Sally, a deer. All right, fellas. Now we've had that interesting development. What's up YouTube, in this video we're going after the sheds. Let's just straight into this. Okay, boys, we got ourselves a situation on our hands. These deer sheds have eluded us for long enough. I mean, we've uh, had a few successes. We found ourselves one little spike horn. That's nice. And we found ourselves a big heifer skull. But besides that, it's been pretty desolate. The mice went to work on this guy. In spots where I thought they would just be full of sheds, there's just layers and layers of just garbage. So our new plan is simple. We're going to uh, a few other newer spots, of course, and we're going to be on the hunt for some big heifer racks, but it's going to be hard. I know, but we're going to be going through the swamps where no one else is looking. So hopefully there'll be some racks. Now, our first spot is more of a, not really a marsh, but it's kind of a thick pile of shrubs. Now, this shrubbery should have a lot of uh, antlers, you know. So, our grand search begins here. What's up, fellas? It's time to look for the sheds, and this is our first spot to look. Uh, hey. Alright fellas, we need to start cracking down and finding these antlers. We've been out here for a while, just going along a trail, hoping we'd see some near the edge, but we just gotta get in there deep. And hopefully, these things will appear. Now, we're uh, about to go into this little deer trail. Now, I cannot bring this fancy heifer camera with me, so I have my, of course, my trustworthy GoPro for you all you fellas to see on. But besides that, I'll catch you all once we're in there. Oh boy. No sheds. It has been a struggling one. We've been out here for about an hour. And now we're going to hit some more open space. A little bit of fields and such. And hopefully we can get some trails. Now, I don't know what these trails will hold. Most likely uh, garbage. But I know there's some big bucks in here. At least bucks. So they have to drop them sometime. Now, the likelihood they drop them in the middle of this is unlikely. But... We'll know until we search it, but besides that, it's time to get searching. All right, fellas, we have a bit of a problem. We've been out here for two hours. We haven't seen a single shed yet. I know it's kind of crazy if you ask me, but we need to just focus for this last half hour, any light at all, and hopefully we'll find ourselves a heifer shed. But tomorrow morning, we're going to ourselves a huge stretch of land. I mean, this sucker is a pretty big. We just gotta go to the top spots where those big heifer bucks are hiding and we'll eventually find something. But besides that, we need to get ourselves back on track. All right, fellas, we've had ourselves a major roadblock. Now, this roadblock is a bit treacherous. We have not found any deer antlers at this first spot. I know, I know that's a bit garbage. And I just don't, I just, I just can't believe that that's, that spot did not have any antlers. I mean, there was so much garbage for them to knock off their antlers. It's just kind of impossible. But these selfish bucks cannot hide their horns for me forever. So we just need to get on this. Okay, fellas, our next spot is the fabled swamps. Now, these swamp bucks have been hiding long enough. And these deer, of course, are the intelligent type. So they're gonna be, uh, you know, hiding and hiding their horns to say the least. So we just need to get in their front room but finding their front room is gonna be the problem. So we just need to get in the swamps and just start looking.
All right, boys, here's our situation now. It is now the next morning, and of course we're on the sheds again, but so far we've not had much luck on this one. But I know there's some uh, pretty big swamp bucks in here, so they have to, you know, drop them. But besides that, we just need to keep looking through these little marshes and degenerate gullies, and hopefully we'll be on some soon. But besides that, it's just, you know, search time. All right, fellas. Now, we've had an interesting development. I found this antler on the trail. Now, I don't know about you boys. This doesn't uh, seem like a shed because, you know, there's a hole in the middle of the antler. So, I believe, in my personal opinion, that this was somebody's rattling antler that he just dropped. Now, I don't know if we're gonna find both sets, but I know there's a stand just farther back here. So I'm just gonna assume it's this fella's antler. I don't know the fella, but who knows. If we see him maybe uh, sometime later in the year, maybe in the fall, I'll hopefully have the chance to, you know, give it back. But this here, I guess we can call it a half a shed because it is still technically an antler, but it's somebody's rattling antler. But besides that, I guess we can call this a half a shed. All right, boys, we're into the next patch of woods where hopefully there's gonna be shed antlers and not just rattling antlers. But besides that, we just need to, you know, start walking because we're burning daylight. We got some All right, fellas, we've had a big issue. My mic broke. Now, it may not look broken, but... Yeah, this little piece snapped off. So, my mic is broke, so I don't know how well you can hear me right now, actually, but the sound quality is just gonna be down, so I apologize for that, but the hunt must continue. All right, fellas, we've had ourselves a little oopsie. I broke the mic on my camera. So, sound might be a little bit garbage. And matter of fact, I'm using my GoPro to literally film this right now. Sorry if the audio is a bit rough. But besides that, we just need to push through this and find antlers. All right, fellas, we found ourselves some bones right before my mic broke, but these are uh, remains of what is or what was a deer. There are those remains. But this is what remains of sadly a deer. I don't know if it was a buck or no, but this heifer here has been marinating in the woods for a while, so I can just assume, let's just go with 10 years or 20 years. That is the only find of a deer besides the Radley antler. Sadly, that one rail antler was the only thing we could find in the swamp. And it was literally somebody else's antler that they just dropped, probably when they were hunting or walking out. But I guess we can call it half a shed because it is a deer antler technically and we did find it. But if I see a guy hunting back there, I'm gonna ask him if it was his rail antler, of course. But besides that, I guess we can call this somewhat of a success. But as usual, and sadly, this is sadly the end of the hunt. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to see your last coyote hunt, video down here. And of course, you guys want to see your last shed hunt, video down here. But besides that, I'll see y'all next video. See ya.